so today I watched pretty much all day uh, between doing random shit. Today I watched the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial and um, gotta say it was triggering as fuck. Like I'm, I'm not even gonna beat around the bush. I got like 15, 15 minutes into like them asking questions about Johnny's childhood. Sounded a lot like mine. Don't, assu don't assume any of the parents or whatever are exactly the same, but you know, as I said earlier on my channel, I am um, a domestic abuse survivor and um, gotta say, wasn't wasn't the, the best thing for me to sit there and hear the details again and <sighs> triggering as fuck. Um, and it was even, it was even more triggering. I mean, that just kind of exhausted me. It was more triggering when the other guy steps up and starts implying that, well, the only reason why you're supporting your brother is because, you know, you're financially dependent on him, which really didn't make much sense because didn't Amber Heard and like five of her best buds and family members all live in a bunch of penthouses in the sky and they just kind of freeloaded off of Johnny Depp's money and he didn't even ask them for any rent or anything. He's like, I'm rich. I'm going to pay all your shit, which let me call a spade a spade. Johnny Depp, not, not, he has not made the best choices in his life. Just no, not, not at all. Not at all. The thing that kind of got me though was Depp's sister is kind of an older woman. Um, no shade. But she doesn't really know how to argue. Um, and when that dude cornered her and started saying all this shit, basically, she didn't really have very much bite back. Like, that dude, if he would have said any of that shit to me, I would have straight up said, oh, you're, you're, you're financially dependent on, on your brother. I'd be like, yeah. And Amber was financially dependent on Johnny Depp. What's your point? Pretty much everybody in Johnny Depp's circle was receiving money from him. He's that guy. He was that guy who paid all your bills. Just, I like you. Here's a million dollars. Is it smart? Probably not. Is it what he did? Absolutely. So, you know, it's really hard for them to push that angle. It's like, oh, well, the only reason why you're defending your brother I mean, they didn't even try to come to the angle of, you're defending your brother because he's your brother. It, no, they were like, because money. Okay, random. Uh, telling about what Johnny Depp's uh, ex-wife's thinking about, which we all know she's thinking about the money. And I'm gonna be honest with you, if Johnny Depp wins this case, he's probably not gonna make her pay the 50 million. He has no intention to make her pay that 50 million. It's all about trying to establish he is not an abuser not even necessarily establish that she was one although in my opinion I think they probably would do better with their case if they focus more on that instead of trying to make Johnny Depp look good they need to take a, a, a page from her book and start pointing out all the nasty things she did because there's plenty of things plenty of things for example they go on and on and on about Johnny Depp's substance problems, which we all know that having a, uh, an addiction doesn't necessarily make you a domestic abuser. And there are plenty of domestic abusers that hit just because they're addicted to hitting and they don't use substances. So it really doesn't make sense that they're trying to do that. It's just really character assassination. Um, they could have pointed out that Amber Heard also has a substance abuse problem. But instead of doing that, they're trying to do the, oh, Johnny Depp's not a bad guy thing. And I'm like, all right. I mean, they're trying to be honorable or whatever. But, you know, I've learned that when when you're going to fight with pigs, you got to enjoy how, how, you're, how dirty you're going to get. Because my husband always says, wrestling with the pigs, the, the pigs always get dirty and they're the ones who enjoy it. Learn to enjoy it. Enjoy it. Learn to enjoy it. Um... Another little thing that I noticed about this whole deal was freaking on Twitter, there's this dude on Twitter, this, I think it's a dude, 
I get the vibe he's a dude. Could be a chick. A lot of people think it's a chick. I don't know. I call him uh, the virgin sturgeon, the flaccid fish. Because um, in my own head, that's funny. He basically is like um, trying to create his own hashtag so he can compete with hashtag justice for Johnny Depp, which ain't going to happen, bub. You can buy all of the bops you want. You can make all of the uh, multiple sock puppet accounts you want. There were millions, and I mean millions of people that signed that, that petition that they wanted uh, Amber Heard fired. So it ain't going to work. So me being the pesty little obnoxious evil clown that I am, I basically, I basically just kind of blew up his hashtag with evidence. I was like, ha hashtag I stand with Amber Heard, hashtag justice for Amber Heard. And then the post was like, here's all of the evidence that she's a piece of shit. And uh, I think that made them kind of mad, which made me very happy. You know, because I was already triggered. Hearing Johnny Depp's, like, abusive past and everything freaked me out. And somebody had to pay for it. Why not let these shitbags be my scratching post? I'm using them as my emotional trash can. I'm not going to lie about it. It's true. Um, and it still boggles my mind how evil people are really easy at twisting narratives. They can look... The, these lawyers, man, they can look a cow dead in the face and say, you're a duck, aren't you? Aren't you a duck? Didn't you always want to be a duck? Did, aren't you originally a duck pretending to be a cat? Nah, these motherfuckers, they will say anything. And, and, and I learned a new phrase today, maw worm. That is somebody who will insist upon insisting upon insisting upon a thing despite all other evidence pointing in the opposite direction. For example, I can look at you dead in the face and say, I am a conservative. And just look at me, I look like a freaking crazy clown. And I'm not a conservative, but you can say that I am and insist it. And um, that's a maw worm. So lawyers just spit out a bunch of maw worms or they are maw worms. I'm not quite sure about the uh, phraseology of that yet, but Bottom line is this, we went back, um, we went back, we went to the cruise. I thought, oh great, I'm going to be on a cruise during the Johnny Depp thing, so I'm not going to be able to get triggered by it or pay attention to it. And we came back the day before it started, so I have no self-control. My inner child is fucked, and she just basically wants to run the show, so I just kind of watched the first day, but I, I don't think I can watch tomorrow. I don't think I can watch tomorrow. I'm going to wait for the highlight reels and then I'll do my little obnoxious Twitter business after, but to be perfectly honest with you, I just, I just can't. It's like, it's too much bullshit. Makes me want to punch my whole, my arm through a wall and I'm not that strong. I've got like skinny little spaghetti arms and so I'm, I will break my arm. So, yep, that's, it's, I, I just can't take the bullshit. I can't take the bullshit. The lies, the blatant lies. How somebody can look at where I am, which as you can see from all the palm trees, is in a tropical climate. I am Florida woman. And straight up be like, it is snowing in Florida. The snow is freezing. It is snowing and the sky is orange. The sky is orange and it is snowing and just freaking just go with that fucking lie. I'm just like, wow, wow. You don't have that mechanism in your brain that goes off and says, I am telling a falsehood. I am telling a falsehood. Cease and desist. Cease and desist. But you know what? I think that's how abusers get away with their shit. They don't have that mechanism. They got it disabled. I need to figure out a way to get it disabled. I think I got a screwdriver somewhere.